This video is for all of you out there using Windows on a Mac. Here I'll give you some tips on how to get more out of your situation or perhaps fix some of your problems. I'm Lucas from Apple Fox and let's begin. I went through the whole thing myself and had to install Windows on my MacBook as well as on my Mac Mini. And I only have 128 gigs MacBook Pro and installing another operating system on such a small storage is not that easy so you know I've been through something. So the first step would be regarding the right mouse click. It depends of course on your setup. If you use a mouse then it's not really a problem but on a MacBook where you only have a trackpad this may be a little bit more complicated. Two finger tab doesn't activate the right click, the right action. So in order to make it work, you need to navigate to this lower panel and click here. Look for uh, the bootcamp logo and uh, the settings. I mean, you can see that uh, this is what it looks like, like a, like a square black. It looks kind of weird, but this is the lo logo for uh, the bootcamp. You may have to click on the arrow up to make it show up. Click on it, bootcamp control panel, and there you'll have access to some settings and preferred options. Click on trackpad and play around with it. I chose the secondary click to get triggered when clicking on the lower right corner of the trackpad. This is like the usual position and the way we are used to doing it. So you can also check the secondary click for two fingers click or tap. That depends on if you also have tap to click enabled, then you can also have two fingers secondary tap enabled, if that makes sense. But on your MacBook, you're, you would most definitely know what to choose and what to click on. Other options here include dragging and a drag lock. Just know that it doesn't work right away after installing Windows, but you need to set it up yourself. And there are some other th settings that you can play around with pretty much. So you can definitely take a look at it if you want. It's going to be like uh, you also have some keyboard settings and some things regarding the lighting so it can dim after you are inactive for a period of time. And this is exactly what you can set up in this section. By the way, guys, I already made videos about tips for new Mac users and plan on continuing this type of videos on the channel. So make sure to be around by subscribing to the Apple Fox channel. You can also support this video with your thumbs up and let's continue with the video right now. If you happen to want to switch back to Mac OS, you can, of course, very easily do it, but you may encounter a problem like I did. When clicking on the bootcam logo, you can see that the option to restore in Mac OS, which usually works, but when I click on it, it just tells me that it could not locate Mac OS boot volume. Whatever that is and however it happened, if you really need to switch to Mac at this moment, what you have to do is, even though you may get scared at first, but if this one click way does not work, then you can still revert to the classic method. So go to Windows panel and restore your MacBook. When the screen goes black, make sure to hold down to the option key and make sure to wait a little bit. Keep holding it all the time until the unusual screen shows up. And here you can just click and choose if you want to start Windows or Mac. It's very simple and you, you should always keep that in mind. The next tip I have for you is when you encounter the so-called blue screen error or blank screen error, whatever you want to call it, this usually happens because of the update process that doesn't go right on your Windows for some reason. That's also one of the reasons why I don't like the Windows operating system that much. The updates work so much better on a Mac, like that is a fact. On Windows, you don't even know what's changed after an update, but anyways, if you ever get this screen, the great thing about it is that you can simply come back to Mac and let the problem sit there. You don't have to solve it right away. On the regular PC or a Mac that runs only one operating system, when you encounter a problem like this, you have to solve it right now or not use the computer. But having the second OS available is definitely an advantage. So, of course, if you want to fix it, 
at first you just take a look at what the problem is you have even a qr code so you can scan it and go to the website and get some instructions but when it happens after updating based on my experience what i can tell you it usually does after updating so you should keep doing this you should hold down to the power button for 10 seconds until it shuts down and then click on the power button once to turn it back on then again hold down for 10 seconds and again turn it back on do it like three times and then let it start up now it will either start the auto repair process which in my opinion fixed it for me and it will fix it on its own this is the easier way but if not you'll get to the save mode and there you can go through the troubleshooting you can go to the advanced options depending on your situation but simply put you have to delete the updates that caused the problem or reinstall the updates again everything depends on your situation so i just cannot give it to you right away but just know that you can always come back to mac os every time you encounter like a huge problem with your windows or if you want to fix it and you should want to fix it you can just perform the um, three times boot up or restored with the uh, with the power button and then the auto repair should turn on and it should fix it for you at least try to or get to the save mode and there you can proceed so this is what you need to know about it and these were all of the tips I wanted to give you in this video. If you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more content like this, then of course, what you have to do is to click on the subscribe button. It really does help you as well as it helps the channel grow. And also support this video with your thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.